Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's March 19th, 2023, and we are in the Old Testament, and we are in the book of Exodus, and we're going to read chapter 23, verse 10, to chapter 33 today. All right, more laws, more laws, more commandments. Uh, let's see, I've said numerous times, I'm a, I'm a Christian, I'm a Gentile, so the Old Testament laws and commandments don't apply to me. They applied to the Jews 4,000 years ago that, that God is trying to turn from slaves into a nation and as, as, as such they need rules because they've never had them before i'm under the rule of jesus jesus says love god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself if i'm doing all those things then i should you should be seeing that well i've done everything that's in this old testament this is just variations of that commandment that jesus gave us the only difference is is 4,000 years ago, they needed more specifics because, again, they were slaves and they've never understood anything other than slavery and bondage. Uh, we're going to start with a section of Sabbath. Uh, God wanted them to pick a day and set it aside to worship him. As a Christian, we don't have Sabbath. We have the Lord of the Sabbath, and we worship God every day in everything we do. Feasts. Feasts in here pointed towards Jesus' sacrifice. Jesus made the sacrifice, so we don't feast like they he want, we do here in this Old Testament. The angels come, and he gives us an angel to promise them. Now, that didn't change. But what changed is, is how our side of it reacts to God's side of it. Now again, we have a direct line through Jesus. So that's all it's... That's the main difference to keep in mind. Why do we read the Old Testament? Again, it's telling us all about God. It's telling us all about how he wanted to relate to these people. It's telling us how sin got into the world. Uh, we, we see these laws that, that are given, and they're all broken, and that's why we needed Jesus to come and save us all and, and actually fulfill the laws and, and bring us that new law. So let's go ahead, and we're going to read Exodus chapter 23, verse 10 to 33. Six years you shall sow your land and gather in its produce, but the seventh year you shall let it rest and lie fallow, that the poor of your people may eat, and what they leave the beasts of the field may eat. In like manner you shall do with your vineyard and your olive grove. Six days you shall do your work, and on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your donkey may rest, and the son of your female servant and the stranger may be refreshed. And in all that I have said to you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods, nor let it be heard from your mouth. Three times you shall keep a feast to me in the year. You shall keep the feast of unleavened bread. You shall eat unleavened bread seven days, as I commanded you at the time appointed in the month of Abib, for in it you came out of Egypt. None shall appear before me empty. And the feast of harvest, the first fruits of your labors, which you have sown in the field, and the feast of ingathering at the end of the year, when you have gathered in the fruit of your labors from the field. Three times in the year all your males shall appear before the Lord God. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, nor shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until morning. The first of the first fruits of your land you shall bring into the house of the Lord your God. You shall not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before you to help you in the way and to bring you into the place where I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him, for he will not pardon your transgression. For my name is in him. But if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. For my angel will go before you and bring you into the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. You shall not bow down to their gods nor serve them, nor do according to their works, but you shall utterly overthrow them and completely break down their sacred pillars. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. No one shall suffer miscarriages or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. I will send my fear before you. I will cause confusion among all the people to whom you come and will make all your enemies turn their backs to you. And I will send hornets before you which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite from before you. I will not drive them out from before you in one year lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. Little by little I will drive them out from before you until you have increased and you inherit the land. And I will set your bounds from the Red Sea to the, to the sea, Philista, and from the desert to the river. For I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and you shall drive them out before you. You shall make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in your land, lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare to you. May God bless the reading of his word, and my God bless you. Bye.